now on WRDE Coast TV. A familiar sight of flooding at the Indian River Inlet. What Del Dot says people can do to stay safe on the roads. Bracing for the storm, what Ocean City is doing to minimize damage from high winds and heavy rain. Well, we're tracking that first rain band from Tropical Storm Ophelia that is moving towards Delmarva this evening. I'll have details on what impacts you can expect coming up in just a few moments. These sidewalks in Milton are under construction. The mixed opinions in the community on whether new sidewalks are needed. From the beaches to the bays, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News at 6 starts right now. Tracking the tropical storm. This is a live look outside into our Embers dry tech camera in Ocean City. You can see how fast the water is moving along there on the bay. Good evening. I'm Mallory Metzner. And I'm Britt Leone. Welcome to our news at 6. Ocean City is preparing for high waters from this tropical storm. We start tonight with weather as we're learning more about the impending storm on this first alert weather day. The town says it is usually prepared for storms like this, but it's taking necessary steps so that you can stay safe. Coast TV News reporter Charles Reinert shows us how people are preparing to weather the storm. I'm standing here on St. Louis Avenue in Ocean City, Maryland, and we're expecting to see some pretty high floodwaters here. And I'll show you the reason why. It's because right there at the end of the block is Asselwoman Bay. St. Louis Avenue is one of the many, many streets known for flooding here in Ocean City. People are bringing in belongings and moving their cars here in town. The Ocean City Fire Department is all hands on deck as Tropical Storm Ophelia makes its way through the area, preparing high water evacuation vehicles and getting life jackets ready. The department says it's hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. There's areas within uh, Ocean City and West Ocean City that uh, are prone to flooding, and we're aware of those, residents are aware of those. Uh, but depending on the storm surge, it could be a little bit uh, worse than what we're expecting. I spoke with the director of emergency services here in Ocean City over the phone, and he told me he doesn't expect there to be a need for any evacuations here in Ocean City, but he is asking everyone to stay off the roads this weekend if possible. I'm Charles Reiner in Ocean City, Coast TV News. Taking, out, taking another live look outside into our dry tech camera at the Ember Center in OC. It looks like the calm before the storm, definitely pretty cloudy out there. Our first alert meteorologist Alex Seymour joins us now with a look at our weather. Good evening, Alex. Good evening. Well, yeah, we're starting to see those first impacts from Ophelia this evening, but nothing like what we're going to be expecting as we progress throughout the next several hours, especially into the overnight hours. Tropical storm Ophelia, now a 70 mile per hour tropical storm. It may even strengthen into a hurricane before making a landfall along the North Carolina coastline tomorrow morning and then it quickly moves up towards Delmarva by tomorrow afternoon and during the overnight hours into Sunday morning. But we're going to start to see those impacts well out ahead of the actual center of circulation. Right now, seeing clouds, but we're already starting to see those winds, and we're soon going to start to see some of that rain start to push into the region. Wind gusts, 35 miles per hour already in Rehoboth Beach this evening, seeing 32 mile per hour wind gusts in Bethany Beach. Those are going to continue to increase. Even Georgetown, seeing a 36 mile per hour wind gust right now. First rain band, that is moving into southern portions of Worcester County, Somerset County. That is going to continue to overspread the region by about 7 to 8 p.m. this evening. Everybody is going to be seeing that wet weather. It's going to get quite heavy overnight, and then it's going to last for a week while. Take a look at our expected rainfall over the weekend. Three to five inches of rain. In some areas, we'll be seeing some locally higher amounts, maybe even as high as six to seven inches. That is going to result in some flooding of area roadways and flooding of yards and fields. One to three inches the further north and west you are. Winds, they're going to be picking up overnight into the first half of the day on Saturday, even into early Saturday afternoon, gusting 40 to 60 miles per hour. That could bring down a few small trees, some tree limbs, also result in sporadic power outages, even inland, where we're already seeing wind gusts close to 40 miles per hour in Georgetown. They're going to be gusting upwards of 50 miles per hour as we head throughout the overnight hours. And also we're expecting some pretty significant coastal flooding. Our inland bays already seeing minor coastal flooding. We're expecting major coastal flooding during the high tides Saturday. So expect some area roadways to close down just because of those floodwaters. Alex, due to heavy rain, the Indian River Inlet could experience flooding this weekend. Coast TV News reporter Elisa Weber introduces us to a store owner who is used to struggling with flooding. 
You will often see flooding at the Indian River Inlet during tropical storms. Butch Evans owns a bait and tackle shop on the bay at the Indian River Inlet. Evans says flooding. It's always a concern and usually, uh, you know, they sometimes they close the road, sometimes they don't, but it just uh, eliminates business completely. Previous floods have damaged parts of Evans' store. We've had flooding in here uh, nine times over the past few years. Most of the time it's two or three inches. The worst it's ever been is 22 inches during Hurricane Sandy. Closing Route 1 between the Indian River Inlet and Dewey Beach is a last resort, according to Del Dot. Closing the road will make it difficult for emergency vehicles to respond quickly. When we put up our road close signs and barriers, they're not suggestions. You know, we put them up because there is a, a, a definite need for them because we feel that anyone trying to travel through there is at risk of having their vehicle flooded out. Del Dot told Coast TV evacuation plans are in place if needed. Road closures could be in effect this weekend due to the heavy storms in our forecast. Del Dot reminds people to never drive through standing water because it could be deeper than expected. At the Indian River Inlet, I'm Lisa Weber, Coast TV News. This brings us now to our Coast TV poll. We want to know if you're ready for the storm. Let's take a look at the updated results from the last news hour. Take a look at the screen. The majority still saying yes. That's at 86%. Only 14% say they're not ready for the storm. I would say I'm not ready for it. I just don't like that bad weather. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm getting prepared the more I'm, I'm learning from Alex. That's right. Alex <laughs> is going to keep us prepared all night long, and we'll keep you updated later on in the newscast. New information on a story we first reported this morning. Delaware State Police arrested 23-year-old Davian West of Millsboro for multiple felony charges after he stabbed his partner in the leg with a knife early this morning. Police say the stabbing happened here at a home on Riverbend Road around 1.40 a.m. Police say West woke up his partner who had been sleeping with a nine-month-old baby and stabbed her in the leg with a knife. Troopers say West left in a stolen car, sped down Harvison Road, and lost control and crashed on private property. He then got out of the car and ran through a cornfield. Troopers say he was caught after a homeowner on Shingle Point Road called police about someone trespassing in their garage. West, cause West was committed to Sussex Correctional Institution on a, an $84,400 secured bond. The woman he stabbed declined treatment for any injuries. We are learning more about a police chase that happened last Friday night. The Lewis Police Department says a Lincoln man has been arrested. They say 23-year-old Jefferson Ramirez Rodriguez was driving on Route 1 just near Dartmouth Drive when Lewis officers pulled him over. Police say he ran from the car into a wooded area and officers saw him remove a black handgun from his waistband. A Maryland State Police helicopter was brought in and Ramirez Rodriguez was located with nighttime heat-seeking technology. He has been committed to Sussex Correctional Institution. The town of Laurel says it's replacing a water main next week. The town says the water main will be replaced on Laurel Street between Bayard and Scarborough Avenues on Monday, September 25th. The town says the road will be closed through traffic on 20, the 25th and the 26th, but accessible to people who live on that block. On Tuesday, the 26th, the town says a full water service shutdown will start at 10 a.m. and be restored by 4 p.m. What's a walking town without its sidewalks? And Milton is working to install the best of those sidewalks. Coast TV's Carmen Holland shows us how the town is putting a pep in its step and making things happen. Construction around Milton. The project, new sidewalks, and handicapped accessible ramps. And William Boyle says Milton needs it. You see more people walking their dogs, just walking and biking than ever in this town and I've lived here since 1974. Now the why. The town says increasing the sidewalks width will help with traffic calming, pedestrian safety, and the ramps help Milton be ADA compliant. And some like Maureen French say the construction so far around town has made a difference. It makes it more accessible for people that are either uh, doing bicycles, uh, wheelchairs, or strollers that they're trying to walk and run. There are three sites for the upgrades. Union and Broad, Federal and Mulberry, and Wharton and Chestnut Streets, all which cost the town $226,000 of tax grants. Although locals like Tom Barry say he would have liked to see more done. How does this help the walkers, these little, these little tiny stretches of new sidewalk? 
is it any wider than it was or is it just newer i don't know uh, you know and i'm not here to criticize the hard working guys but i will tell you i'm a head scratcher for me the project manager tells me this project went along pretty smoothly. They had a couple bad weather days, but all three sites should be ADA compliant and the project should be complete sometime next week. In Milton, I'm Carmen Holland, Coast TV News. The city of Harrington is hosting a fall cleanup to help you get rid of some old items you don't need or want anymore. You can bring bulk items to the public works yard on Franklin Street from Tuesday, October 10th to Friday, October 13th between 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then Saturday the 14th from 8 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. The city says to bring your photo ID as that's required and tire, paint and batteries will not be accepted. Let's take another live look outside. This is our Boardwalk Plaza camera in Rehoboth Beach. It's very misty there on the camera, but you can see how fast the waves are coming in there on the beach. There is more news to cover tonight. Coming up, the Milton Food Pantry. When it's hosting a ceremony and what organizers say you'll be able to learn. Well, Tropical Storm Ophelia will be battering Delmarva over the upcoming 48 hours. I'll time out the arrival of the worst impacts coming up in just a few minutes. This woman in Milford is having trouble getting around. How the city is looking to improve these sidewalks we will be back in 60 seconds. Hurry, schedule your Horizon Services end-of-season AC tune-up today and receive a free heater tune-up on the same visit. That's two essential maintenance services for the price of one. Experience year-round comfort. Call or visit us at horizonservices.com. It's Ford Truck Month. Time to defeat any task in a Ford F-150. Premium comfort, easy access, innovative tech. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, 46 years straight. So get to Ford Truck Month and get into a built Ford Tough truck. Ain't nobody stopping me. Get an F-150 with 3.9% financing for 60 months plus $2,500 bonus cash. From leaky faucets to burst pipes, the pros at Horizon Services Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing are on call for any same-day plumbing repair. For a limited time, take 20% off your next plumbing service. Call now or visit us at horizonservices.com. Taking a stroll downtown is easier for some than others. And with cracks and steep inclines, it's even more difficult to get around. Coast TV's Tori Seagraves shows us how seemingly small problems with sidewalks can mean big issues for people with disabilities in Milford. Walking along this sidewalk, you might not see much wrong with it. But for those in wheelchairs like Don Tomsack, small imperfections in the concrete can be dangerous. Much like this corner that has caused her wheelchair to fall over. Because of the cracks in the holes, it's hard to stay on them without tipping over, which means that then I have to go into the street and then I'm in people's way and, you know, that's a hassle and a headache for them and a little dangerous for me. The city of Milford started a sidewalk program a few years ago. While some sidewalks are left up to property owners to take care of, the city has options to help. And the city offers financing and for the city to do the work for the residents. Uh, that way it's a little less of a burden on the individual homeowners. Um, or property owners. But consideration for people with disabilities doesn't end there. I fell in the store trying to get in because I have to get up out of the wheelchair, open the door, and try and hold the door, but I only had the one hand, so, you know, it's kind of complicated. Milford is working to obtain funding through a grant program called Safe Streets for All to become a more accessible city. We're hoping to get some of that funding and that would hopefully fix all of the ADA ramp issues that we have in the city as well as some um, other ADA issues. Ultimately, Tom Zach would just like for Milford to be made safe for everyone. The next sidewalk repairs to be made by the city will be here along Macaulay Street in the next couple of weeks. I'm Tori Seagraves in Milford Coast TV News. The holiday season will be here before we know it, and that means the return of Draper Media's Bless Our Children campaign. Through generous donations from businesses and individuals, we do our best to make sure every child has a present to open Christmas morning. We do that by supporting nonprofits that handpick families in need, groups like the Boys and Girls Club. Applications for nonprofits like that are now open. They're due October 31st. 
Well, Ophelia is tracking north just off the North Carolina coast this evening. Here in Delmarva, we're expecting flooding rains, damaging wind gusts, and major coastal flooding. We'll let you know which locations will feel the brunt of the impacts coming up just after the break. Whether you need performance, efficiency, or capability, there's a stylish and affordable Toyota Corolla for you. With fully connected tech, you can take charge of your drive. Right now, buy a Corolla with low APR financing. Toyota, let's go places. Rural communities are on the front lines of a changing climate. Farmers can implement climate smart practices that improve soil health, nutrient management, and energy efficiency. These practices improve our profitability, resiliency, and help to open new markets. We know voluntary conservation works and are committed to working with farmers and forest landowners to leverage resources to increase climate resiliency through conservation practices. To learn more about climate smart practices, scan this QR code to find your local USDA service center. With Food Lion Feeds, I get to give back in ways I never imagined. What are you doing? I'm picking tomatoes. From growing fresh produce for our neighbors in need, to remodeling local pantries so we can help even more people. But my favorite thing hey, hey, is delivering hot meals to make Miss Baker's day. Got your favorite. That looks delicious. Here to fill tables and hearts with hope. Food Lion Feeds, here for every moment. The Powerball jackpot is always a lot of money. Right now, it's a lot, a lot of money. Powerball is over $750 million. That's a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> Please play responsibly. Keep up with local sports all from what app? From your mobile device to Fire Stick, Roku, and Apple TV. Download the DSN app today. Driven by Preston Automotive Group. When choosing a granite countertop, choose one for real life and beauty. No matter what life throws at them, they'll look beautiful forever. Ancient Art Stone invites you to discover the affordability of granite and upgrade your home to the beautiful works of art from Ancient Art Stone. Centrally located in Milford, Delaware, serving all of Delmarva to make your dreams a reality. Visit us and allow our devoted professionals to craft, fabricate, and install a superior finished product that will transform your home into a work of art. Sponsored by Ancient Art Stone, where countertops are always a work of art. Tropical storm Ophelia is steadily gaining strength along the North Carolina coastline this evening. We have tropical storm warnings all along the southeast coastline into the mid-Atlantic, all the way up to Fenwick Island. We're seeing those tropical storm warnings. Ophelia. Well, right now, a 70 mile per hour tropical storm may even reach hurricane strength before making landfall tomorrow morning along that North Carolina coastline and then eventually tracking towards Delmarva as we head towards tomorrow night into Sunday morning. The impacts, though, they're going to start to arrive over the next couple of hours, and we're already seeing some of those gusty winds and cloud impacts here along the coast. Right now, satellite radar picture, it's pretty cloudy out there this evening, and we're starting to see that first rain band really starting to creep into the area, seeing some light rain across southern portions of Worcester County, all of Somerset County. This rain band going to continue to overspread the region, and most of us will be dealing with at least light rain by about the 7 to 8 o'clock hour, and then it becomes steadily heavier throughout the overnight hours. We can see that on our in-house future cast by 7 p.m. Rain starting to move into the southern portions of Sussex County and then we jump ahead to about 11 p.m. Widespread rain across the region. Pretty light still but that will continue to intensify and become quite heavy. This is by 2 a.m. Anywhere in the yellow and orange you're talking about downpours across the area. That is going to continue. We may even start to see some thunderstorms by about 8 a.m. Saturday morning. That continues even into the afternoon hours and Saturday at 2 p.m. This is when we're starting to get into those deeper red shadings. That is when we're going to be talking about the potential there's some extra spin in the atmosphere just due to the fact that you get that extra spin anytime there's a tropical system we're going to start to see some extra spin in our atmosphere as we head towards tomorrow afternoon so you need to stay weather aware tomorrow afternoon we could see an isolated tornado or two so make sure you're using that qr code down there in the bottom corner of the screen or when that does pop up there qr code in the bottom corner of the screen to download our wrde weather app certainly going to be important to have over the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to get any of those watches, warnings, and advisories. There we go. There's that QR code that I was talking about. You're going to get any of those watches, warnings, and advisories sent directly to your phone when they're issued. 
showers they're going to continue through tomorrow evening and then likely even into sunday i th think our in-house future cast is likely underdoing the rain on sunday at least in the first half of the day not looking too nice on sunday and then also take a look at this this is how much we're going to see pile up three to five inches of rain that is the expected rainfall across most of sussex county at least southeast sussex county all of our beach towns three to five inches of rain some locally higher amounts maybe six to seven inches going to result in a lot of flooding of area fields area roadways and then of course most people's yards are going to see standing water in them it's also going to create some problems along our inland bays because we're going to see high water levels just from the surge of water from the atlantic being pushed into those inland bays due to the fact that we're going to see 40 to 60 mile per hour easterly winds shoving a lot of water into those bays so that water is going to have a difficult time draining, so likely exacerbating some of that flooding. Also, 46, 60 mile per hour wind gusts at our beaches. That's going to be enough to bring down a few small trees, break some small limbs, and then also create a few sporadic power outages. So just be aware of that as we head throughout the next 24 to 48 hours. Already seeing winds gusting over 30 miles per hour, and they're just going to intensify as we head throughout the overnight hours. By 10 p.m., already seeing winds gusting over 50 miles per hour, and then all ready over 60 miles per hour as we head towards saturday morning saturday morning at 7 a.m 65 mile per hour wind gusts possible at dewey beach so just be aware of that that water it's already looking rough and it's only going to get rougher over the next 24 hours really the next 6 to 12 hours we're going to start to see some of those rougher waters so major coastal flooding back bays going to flood outside of high tide time so already seeing some of that minor coastal flooding along those back bays right now battering surf waves of 8 to 14 feet and also significant beach erosion would not be surprised to see some dune overwash with these high water levels and just really big waves at our beaches and then our paul davis restoration and home remodeling seven day forecast there's this rain lingering all the way through monday but the good news is the rest of next week doesn't look too bad low 70s with sunshine thanks alex the milton community food pantry is hosting a ribbon cutting ceremony for its new distribution center it'll be held wednesday october 11th at 11 a.m at the new distribution center on union street extended it's going to feature a tour of the new building the town of Bridgeville is hosting a free event to give people in the community health screenings. It takes place at the Bridgeville Volunteer Fire Company. It'll be held Thursday, September 21st at 5 p.m. The event includes free blood pressure checks, vision screenings, dental screenings, flu shots, and more. We're now taking a live look into our Tyndall's casual furniture camera in Laurel. You can see it's getting really cloudy out there and looking dark. And with that, let's take another look at our Coast TV poll. We asked if you're ready for the storm. Take a look at the screen. So far, the majority has been saying yes. That's up to 89%. Just 11% said no. If you haven't voted yet, you still can on WRDE.com or our mobile app. We'll have updated results on Coast TV News at 11. And this weekend, join us here on Coast TV News to watch Sunday night football. This week, it's Pittsburgh Steelers versus Las Vegas Raiders. Coverage starts at 7 p.m. And then right after the game, we've got your hyper-local Coast TV News to get you ready for the work week. Dinosaur Adventure roars into Salisbury. One weekend only by Comico Civic Center. With life-size dinosaurs and massive family fun, experience the thrill of the prehistoric age featuring the ferocious T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and more. Go on a realistic fossil dig. Take a ride on your favorite dinosaur. Bounce around in the prehistoric playground and a baby dinosaur meet and greet. Take an amazing dinosaur adventure. This weekend only by Comico Civic Center. Tickets at DinosaurAdventure.com. Track the storm with the Coast TV First Alert Weather Team. It's Ocean Down's $25,000 Cash Splash Sweepstakes. Earn scratch-off cards to win prizes. Plus, swipe on September 29th to activate your entries for a chance at a special delivery of $25,000 cash. Ocean Down's Casino, where the fun shines. Available, affordable, at your service. See what makes Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Center's your store for new floors. The selection is yeah. incredible. I mean, my floors look amazing. Thousands of styles in the aisles for miles. Get carpets, hardwood, waterproof vinyl, laminate, area rugs, and more. On sale now up to 50% off. Simply pick, pay, take it away, or we'll install it as soon as you say. For free, hurry in to Airbase Carpet and Tile Mart Flooring Super Center before the sale is over. Fortress Building Technology by Shell Brothers ensures your home will stand the test of time. Our homes are constructed on-site because stick-built homes are stronger and more energy efficient. 
Shell's advanced framing techniques maximize the thermal barrier of exterior walls while utilizing less wood. With an expertly designed leak prevention system, the inside of your home will be kept water and moisture free. Fortress by Shell Brothers. Included with every Shell Brothers home. The Today Show, weekdays at 7 on Coast TV. Cap off the season with the four best days of fall at Sunfest. Experience the ultimate celebration of food, drinks, arts, crafts, and entertainment along the boards from October 19th to the 22nd. Embrace fall with a variety of fun activities, including beach bonfires, corn maze, tractor rides, and pet and bicycle events. Shop around over 200 arts and crafts vendors. Immerse yourself in music with an incredible lineup of free musical performances. Enjoy free family fun all day. Visit Oceocean.com Sunfest for more. WRDE First Alert Weather, brought to you by Ocean City, Maryland. You can participate in a 5K run to fight cancer held by nonprofit Fighting Pretty. The 5K is on Sunday, October 15th from 8 a.m. to 8.55 a.m. at the Big Oyster Brewery. Profits from the race will be donated directly to Fighting Pretty, which helps provide beauty and empowerment to women during their cancer journey. You can register online. We're already starting to see those first impacts from Tropical Storm Ophelia this evening as they take a live look out on our Gateway Subaru camera at the Commander Hotel at the Atlantic. Looking very angry this evening. Those waves going to continue to pick up. We're going to see 8 to 14 foot waves tomorrow. And these water levels are going to continue to increase. We're likely going to see waters closing in on the boardwalk as we head towards at least tomorrow afternoon's high tide. So coastal flooding is expected. Significant beach erosion also expected along with that rain. That rain already starting to push into the area. Live radar right now. Light rain moving through Ocean City, Ocean Pines area. And that is going to continue to lift north across the Route 50 corridor, move through the 54 corridor and move and take over Sussex County over the next hour to two hours. And then we're expecting some very heavy rain, several inches of rain likely going to result in quite a bit of flooding across the region through probably Sunday and then even some showers lingering through Monday. And then we dry out for the remainder of next week. Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. The NBC Nightly News is up next. We'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 11. Have a great evening.